there is such a thing as right and wrong gifts. Do you find yourself completely bombarded on the internet right now with gift guides? So recently, it occurred to me that the general public has no accurate concept or strategy of how to give a good gift. There's a lot of advice on the topic, but today, I wanted to share my proven gifts and strategies for him that has worked every time. I really wish somebody would have told me what I'm about to say in this video. As an INTJ, I have to be number one, including gift giving. Yeah. LJ hasn't told me what her strategies are or her tips for gift giving, but knowing her, I know this is going to be useful. Everything she's ever given me has been spot on. Aww, thanks baby, it's same with you. Dashing through Welcome this to the Botolato gift, gift Guide. guide. If you're watching this gift guide, you're probably already doing it wrong because you should have bought everything that I'm about to say on Black Friday and gift them for Christmas. I think that's easy for you to say because you have the mind that makes you obsess over all these things. <laughs> Are you in a relationship with an INTJ? If so, it could look a little something like this. Hey honey, can you grab me a Coke from the fridge? Darn honey, we must have drank the last one. Okay, no problem. I'll just run to the store and get another one. We already drove past the grocery store once today and we didn't get it. And we don't have any other reason to go that direction today. So it makes no logical sense to go there again just for a Coke. Most people will just buy a gift. You're very determined, very what? analytical and critical, thoughtful, considerate. You're fast. I'm very intolerant of dumb gifts. Yeah, intolerant was another Oh, I should have used. <laughs> Gift number one, current phone charger. I am going to insert some images and videos of the newer versions they had, but I got this for Cody in 2019 or so. A phone charger in itself is boring and necessary, which is not something you want to give in a gift. I'm very I'm intolerant, intolerant of dumb, dumb gifts. Yeah. However, you can spice up their phone charging life by giving them a really cool leather bounded current so it charges two devices. And when I gave this to him, he had just got AirPods. So he put his phone here and his AirPods here and you could charge it dually and it looks really fucking cool. This one ended up being really nice because it's so easy to throw in my backpack. At my job, I would be like on my feet and running around and sit at my desk for just a few minutes. So it would always be nice to just, I would set this up, throw my phone on it, charge, and also my coworkers would always come in and throw their phone on it. And easy to just and not have to plug something in, just set it on there, let it charge and forget about it. So this is awesome. Another gift for him, the actual gift is a material knife block. I'll put the link in the description below. The strategy around this is play into his childish warrior side that every man has. It's really cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah. And you kind of feel like a warrior when you're putting things on here, right? Fun, yeah. yeah, he I think he, he was the word today. <laughs> joust. Yeah, the, the word of today was joust. He loves those kind of things and mm -hmm. play to that playful side of him pretending he's a warrior. Pops right back on. Um, there's many colors, but this was the yeah. best looking color. This color's awesome. Make them delusional in thinking that they, they are warriors. Oh, yeah. Man manipulation is the key to the gift guide. Another cool gift idea is something that you guys do every day that you want to nudge into amazing categories. So for example, we have coffee every morning. I got something called a Mocha Master for him which is a cool looking coffee machine that I can only describe emulates a chemistry grade 11 class yeah, that you pour project. things in and it bubbles and, and, beakers and, and it makes our morning even more pleasant. Yeah, it's really nice because for a very long time I would use AeroPress and make the coffee or do French press or something, which just takes time. It's nice to, to prep the coffee at night. You just hit a button. And it also makes really good, like it makes the coffee well. Before I got it, I did review it versus a lot of different coffee machines. For example, my first choice is the Smake coffee machine, but it had terrible reviews. So after sifting through everything, I got the Mocha Master. Yeah, so it worked well. Another really good strategy uh, for your gift giving, use your weakness to show him how much you love him. I'm usually not the one for sentimentality. One of the gifts I got Cody to show him that I can do something uncomfortable for the benefit of our relationship is I made him the sweetest music video, right? Thank you for telling. Yeah. Do you remember that, that one? Video. I was not expecting that at all. Early on in our relationship, it was really hard and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to do it because of the long distance. Basically, I wrote this song, Vancouver to LA, that was about our relationship and how rough it can be, but also it was bittersweet because there's there's hope and things are gonna work out. And that's what I was trying to say in it. And then a couple years later, she took all of our photos and videos that we had taken, taught herself to use Final Cut Pro. And then on my own thing that she showed me, it's so sweet. Everything will be great. Everything will be fine. We'll force our fears to wait. What you can do is if you have 
a weakness, you can really use it to your advantage and get it, get him a gift that allows them to know that one, you're aware of your own weakness, which is half of the battle, and two, how much outside of the comfort zone I was making that video. Yeah, because you don't even like to have your photo taken, so. No, I, I hate looking at myself. I have a bunch of pictures of you out yeah. there like that. Another cool gift idea, and I'll tell you the strategy around this gift. So what you want to give your man is something you don't give a fuck about. This is some sort of like special music thing. Something that you can use to record music. It basically sets your software up in your computer so that you can plug a guitar or a microphone into it and then record. Yes, so I actually did not know what this was, but his brother told me about it. So I had a secret chain with his brother. What it shows, besides its practicality, because Cody uses it every day, is I took the initiation around his number one passion. The strategy is to find his number one passion, so for his was music, and find somebody in that field if you're not in it yourself. And it's almost more thoughtful if you give him a gift around his passion that he doesn't share with you because it really doesn't benefit me that he has this thing. <laughs> Apogee. Apogee duet. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to make a cool It's sound. not a toy though. Oh, that's sorry. Am I breaking it? Are you good? Yeah. I will never buy something new for myself ever. And I was really in the market for something and something a little less nice for myself and then just kind of suffered and dealt with it. So this was one of the greatest things I could have gotten. And I'm very grateful every time I use it and work on music with it. Thank you. Another gift idea for your special someone is something they're a little tad embarrassed about. If a friend asks you, for example, where you got something, you can be like, oh, my wife, my wife bought this for me like, uh, as a burden, but something that you secretly enjoy. Here is a specific item. It is a Lululemon men's running shorts. When I first started dating Cody, I would take him to the Lululemon store and he'd be like, oh, isn't that for girls? He hated this logo. He's like, I don't want anybody to think that a cool musician like him would That's be into fitness. I, I have one more gift and this is a fun gift. I'm gonna call it the Franken Donut. What you wanna do is go to a donut store get him six donuts, but nobody wants to actually eat six donuts to themselves. So slice them up so they can get every flavor in the minuscule portion that they can never get. Yeah, yeah. bonus gift for everyone. Every Black Friday, pair of shoe. I got this on Craigslist used. Kind of gross, because it's a robe. <laughs> it is a pair of shoe cloud cotton robe. Um, it's the most comfy yet stylish in my mind, because like the Turkish ones that I see that everybody wears, the ones at hotels, they look too... Like a towel. I feel like I am in a Greek goddess movie <laughs> when I'm wearing this as opposed to like being in sweatpants. Like Steve Martin when I wear mine. To prove to you guys that we are not just touting these things, but we are believers in them. <laughs> look at this. We have a gift. This is a baby gift, which I'll insert. It's for my best friend's baby. And then I got her, my best friend, a matching colored robe. Can't get mommy's white because they'll stay. So I got her this beautiful bone color as well as her baby. Um, so this is a great gift for Christmas because again, you get 20% off Black Friday and then gift for Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next year. We love you guys. From the Photo Lotto Diaries. Diaries.